And another question from Maria. It's about how did you start your cybersecurity career? Like, how did this start? I had quite an interesting journey. So I mentioned in the beginning that I was in the Navy for five years. And this is where I learned more about the network. So I understand networking, DNS, DHCP, Windows, domain controllers, less security, Linux protocols. When I finished the Navy, I joined a company called Checkpoint. They make making firewalls for the last 25 years. And I joined as a QA analyst. So it's quite, I don't know if it's unique, but different than many other people. Now, don't forget, 20 years ago, there was no such thing as degree in cybersecurity. Universities were not teaching cybersecurity. There was nothing. Majority of us started in IT and networking and then moved to cybersecurity. So we all learned on a job. There was no, there was training for firewall, training for cloud endpoints, whatever it is, uh, in cloud, but there was no us as cybersecurity. Or people did a degree in computer science and then went to cybersecurity. So I joined as a QA analyst for Checkpoint. And now my role was to understand and help design and check how Checkpoint are working in the next generation space of reviewing HTTP, SMTP, POP3, and FTP protocols, basically inside the protocols. So I learned right away about debugging, about how protocols worked. It helped me later on tremendously to move forward. And then I moved to Canada and I started to work for a company called Horjove Group, where I integrated and upgrade firewalls for customers. And because firewalls are always the one that people blame all the time, and you just didn't wait on the firewall, nothing working anymore. So I end up learning quite a lot of what's happening around the firewalls, how FTP servers are working, how web servers are working, what's happening with the databases, why the database you know things, how endpoint security is working. This was the beginning. And the beauty of cyber, maybe the beauty of the course, of cybersecurity is that you never stop learning. So if you come to me and say, oh, I have 25 years of experience, in reality, I don't care what you did 20 years ago. I only care what you did the last five years. Because stuff changed so fast. Think about this. There was no AWS or Amazon or Azure 10 years ago. There was no API security, pretty much. There was no SaaS and cloud. There was no containers. There was no serverless. So the way we design products right now and implement products right now are way different 10, 15 years ago. when. I will deploy a McAfee, a semantic and trend antivirus 10, 15 years ago. It's mean the customer need to provision an SQL service server. They need to provision a domain controller. They will need to build an infrastructure only for us to deploy an endpoint security and antivirus. And then I will need to create multiple distribution servers in the environment to make sure we can propagate the signatures, the traditional antivirus 15 years ago had a database of signatures for around 200 megs, maybe even more some cases. So we needed a way to update them and distribute them. Right now, if you're looking on a traditional and modern antivirus, what we call EPP or EDR, endpoint detection and response, endpoint protection, we're talking about no database at all because it's working differently. It doesn't need database, it's working on behavior. So we don't need all this infrastructure and the management of the systems are in a cloud. So it means a customer don't need to provision anything. So it's quite a lot of stuff changed. Hope it's answered the question and I kind of went more <laughs> about no, this as well. 